So we're here today with the uh, designer of this phenomenal lighting project. Uh, it feels like daytime. I think the sun is shining, uh, but the sun isn't shining as beautiful as you. Can you talk a little bit about this project here and, and what it is and what you hope to achieve here in the Tremont community? Actually, nothing's done without a community. There's been 600 individuals coming in a room, and lifestyle is a huge piece about Cleveland keeping people here. The number one thing they wanted was lighting to feel more comfortable walking around neighborhoods, and their number one most favorite neighborhood is Tremont. So for the last two and a half years, we've worked on how to get sustainable lighting, which is LED lighting, hung up on buildings so that we can achieve everybody's you know, needs. Great lighting, um, uh, uh, you know, sustainable fixtures, twenty dollars a year for pricing. So. So is this something that you could do in more places than just right here on this building? And how could you apply it up and down the street? You know, I heard rumors today going into Tremont West that there could be a way to multiply this if this was successfully taken off. So it's very duplicated. It needed to happen for the first time, and then once it happened the first time, I think we can move from there. Uh, some people tell us that you actually are not a lighting engineer, but that you have another profession. Is that true? I am. Um, I work at U.S. Bank, and I'm a commercial lender. I deal with middle market companies between 10 and 50 million dollars. <laughs> Nobody knows that, but yes, I do that. <laughs> yes. um, but this project was probably harder than some of those loans that you did. I think that's true. In the last two days, I've lived in people's basements. I've negotiated the biggest negotiations in all my business life. So I'm glad we're here, and I'm glad the lights are up, Zimmerman. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kylie and Aaron Smith, the dynamic duo, the powers of tower, the lighting Leos. We are so lucky to have them in Tremont. We love you. I'm Christy Wilder, and I've been a member of 10,000 for three years. However, I have not been super involved in this project, but I know this has been in the works for four years. Um, and these lights and the uh, design of the lights have all been donated by local businesses and um, the money has been raised organically and locally in Cleveland. So here is Colleen. Hi, I'm Colleen Zupan and I've been involved with 10,000 for a little over three years now. The idea really came out of a session from community members who thought about ways to improve Cleveland. And thinking about our neighborhood, we thought, what a better way than to light up Tremont. So after three years of meeting and greeting and introducing this idea to a lot of the community, bus local business owners helped us raise enough money to add 17 LED lights throughout Professor. And um, what a great way to help make our community safer and, uh, and a nice way to um, really keep Cleveland uh, growing and believing. So thanks, let's keep it going. Oh, We're here 10, with Aaron. 10,000 Little Ideas organization. I love it. Aaron is the leader of the organization. Tell us about that. Uh, we st started the project two and a half years ago when 700 Northeast Ohioans wanted to improve Cleveland's lifestyle because they thought it wasn't uh, safe enough to come to Cleveland because it wasn't well lit. So we picked one of the most cultural gems in Cleveland, Tremont neighborhood, and went ahead and installed 17 new LED uh, lights that were uh, American made from Beta LED in Wisconsin. So we're very excited about that as well. And uh, we, we love the, the Tremont neighborhood. We love the city of Cleveland. We believe in it. And we like to make sure that the community's voices and their ideas are actually put into action and heard rather than just dismissed. So that's what our organization is about. And we always appreciate community support, uh, corporate support, uh, you know, and also councilman support as well. So we're really excited about the project. It was a nice speech that they gave over there. Wonderful. We've got some more supporters here. Yep. How did you like the ceremony this evening? It was fun. It was short. It was sweet. It was to the point. Um, the lights are up, so anyone can come down and take a look. They look gorgeous, so it's well worth a look. Do you feel safer? Yeah, you know, it's great to see this happen in this beautiful community, and it's a two and a half year project, a lot of effort by a lot of people, but it shows you what you can do if you put your minds to it, and that's what 10,000 Little Ideas is all about. I think it's fantastic. And, and I feel safer. I mean, it wasn't like Tremont wasn't a safe community, but I think with better lit street, people can walk in, up and down it and not feel like they're in a dark spot and have to feel like they might get, some you know, taken. Cannon. Right. But um, <laughs> also, to uh, 10,000 Little Ideas organizations fully funded this project, so the residents, all they had to pay for is electricity bills. So we wow. went ahead and helped install them on the buildings as well. So in 10 years from now, They'll spend maybe $100 on the LED, LED bar to replace it, which is pretty unique opportunity for 
uh, the concept of LED. That's fantastic. And I will mm -hmm. tell you, I couldn't find a parking spot because it's so crowded down here in Tremont this evening. And I am parked two blocks away, all the way down the street, probably in an area that wasn't very well lit up, but now is. And I felt no no, pro no problems, okay. safe as could be. So Thanks. congratulations. It's doing its job already. Oh, appreciate already this it. evening. Well, congratulations on a Thanks. great project. This is Michelle Delosier with Real Talk. Wait for our next segment. We'll see you then. Tremont's a great neighborhood for a kind of a, a great project with lighting up the buildings and making uh, uh, Tremont more brighter, uh, even uh, a safer, great neighborhood what it is. Uh, thanking uh, the Councilman Zipperman to support this uh, endeavor, Mayor Jackson, uh, all my colleagues there at the city, and uh, all the people here in Tremont that make this a great, great neighborhood. We have some more words, yes? Yes, now the big part of this project is this is the first sustainable LED project in the county for a neighborhood. So it's very cutting edge, it's been a lot of studying, and I know the city has looked into it, but this is the first area that supported it. So incredible stuff. One light on a building is only $20 at max for the year. Almond Electric, Cook Paving, and a lot of partners put in a lot of free time to help us get here today. So I thank everybody. Oh, I thank you too. And I'm, I live in Tremont, so I want to thank you and your group for making this happen. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks to everyone supporting our project. Woo! Thank you, Tremont. Yes. Thank you, Joe Semperman. Thank you, Spencer. Yes. Towers of Power. Thank you.